Ah. Oh boy. Oh god, that came off. Right. Um. Right, we'll worry about that in a minute. Right, I think this is going to be a really bad idea. Alrighty, what are we doing today? Uh, we are going to put these full sentencing joysticks for Joy-Con into a switch. Here it is. Uh, now this is an original switch from the first launch date. Neon because I'm not a monster. And this side here, this Joy-Con right there is a little bit ropey. Uh, I think it's right at the moment because I've been using like a lot of contact cleaner in there to give it some sprays. Um, so let's just go into the, where is it? Calibrate control sticks. Don't hold the stick here, which is calibrate. Can you see there? That's a little bit. That is Drifty LaRue. And it's gone through be repaired a couple of times. And I'm just kind of like, let's just, I've got a split pad for it and that's good. But let's get this, let's get these, let's get these in here. Actually, you know, it looks like it's broken, but that's just the, I'm going to take this off because it's all cracked. Bit of ASMR whilst we're doing it. Yeah, the screen protector's all broken, so let's get this off. There we go. Which is a shame because that was a good one. And when I did it, I did it in one go. I just dropped it and the whole thing went on one go. It was brilliant, but don't need that anymore. Get the joy comes off. And we'll get this open. Now, I'm not open this yet. Still sealed. Um, but I wanted to open it with you guys on, on screen. So we're going to look at it. Um, this was the second batch, hopefully, of the Joy Cons. The uh, first batch, and I'll probably be some graphics on the screen about this, where there were issues around it clicking. Like you go around and it will go click or some kind of issue with it, um, which is resolved apparently. And there was a gap on there. So you can kind of guess what we're getting, I guess. Um, which again, the resolved, I think, with a sticker. So, you know, high tech. Um, so we're going to start with Lefty. I've got a website off on another screen here. Um, I can scroll through. Uh, this is from the iFixit because I'm that kind of guy who just buys stuff that he sees. Uh, and this is described as moderate, 30 minutes. So, oh boy. This is going to be super. Oh yeah, and that's the, uh, I bought a normal uh, that's why I bought this, because it came with a regular switch Joy-Con, which I didn't put in because I read about these not long afterwards. So we've got a cool kit that we will uh, use in here. So let's open this up first. Is this a slice? Oh, it will slice. There we go. See what we got. So we go. Oh, we got. We had tools, screwdriver, thing like that. We've got screws. Concerning that actually work that lid. We'll put those in there for now. We've got some funky thumb grip caps. Might be right. Who knows? It's often comfortable. It's often comfortable, delicate, and skin friendly. The real machine opens the mold and the use does not shake. Cool. Protection rocker wear. That is some good text. We'll put that over there for now. Oh, so these are the actual lads themselves, full sensing. So these are magnetic, so it gets rid of the drift. They're kind of the big deal, you know, talk about all the time. But apparently they were in the Saturn, the Circle Saturn pad, had them back in the day. Was it Dreamcast? One of the two. Uh, there we go, there's the little lads. don't think there's any difference between the two of them, so. 100% size fit joy no modifying needed, plug and play. I just pop. I guess that's the sticker in there. So let's just have a quick. Oh, this was a bit like a bit stiffer than the actual uh, Joy-Con sticks. And there's no microns over there. Definitely no click coming out of that. That's good. Let's check the other one. No, that one sounds good as well. So don't bend that. So I'll use this one. 
right so we'll put those lads over there right so put that joy out of the way as well lefty remove four try point y double zero screws from the black panel joy con screws in there keep them organized that's cool i'll keep them organized uh y double zero yeah, this matte thing is quite good because it's got all the bits, all the bits there. Is that thing still hard to read? That's why triple zero. It looks like it's going to be right. We'll try it. I don't want to break anything, but if not, I can always use one of these lads. So let's. Nope, that is working. That is coming out. All right. I'll put those that bit over there, I think. That's a button tool. That's not going to work. I think if this one's not as complicated as the other one, because this one has got the IOLAD camera thing at the bottom, which I don't think I've ever used since I played 1 2 Switch. But it was clever. I can't remember. Right, those four go in there. Right, so. I've removed the screws. Step two. Insert an opening pick into the seam at the bottom edge of the controller. It seemed like it was coming out quite well from the top. Okay, right. Slowly slide the flat edge opening up this side of the Joy-Con, so up this side. Careful not to slide in too far. Damage your inner components. Right, this loosens fairly easily, so. Oh, there we go. That feels, feels positive. All right, step three. With the charging rail facing away from you, open the Joy-Con like a book. Oh, there we go. Okay. So there's the battery. So I think it's those keyboard ads. Oh, the awkward fellas. Oh boy. I am sweating because it is hot. And I'm stressy, right? Use a spudger to gently pry the battery connector straight up. So that's that lad in there. Do you want to have a spudger in this? It's all right, I have a spudger. That's that's too big of a spudger, I feel. Uh, well, there, there you are. That looks quite spudgy like. I feel like that's too. That is too big. Cool, this is going super well. You've only got a pick and the thing in there. What's it? Oh no! I had something else. That feels like it's going to be the right size. There we go. Okay, so. You suppose Jenny Pry the battery gets straight up from its socket. Okay, straight up. I did not like that noise. But it's out, it's out, cool. Oh, right. Step five, insert, pick between the battery. Let's go back around that way. Guinea part, so it's lightly taped in place. Okay, this is lightly taped in place. Oh, no, that's not too bad. That came out all right. It came out top end, all right. Let me just get that down there. Oh, there's the tape. Cool. Battery out. Uh, remove the three golden Phillips. What's that? One, two, three. Where are we? Phillips double O. Phillips double O. Let me just tap that out. Put that back in so we know where it is. We'll tip it upwards so we know which one is in there as well. Right, so by again, rotate that so it looks the same as the picture. So, I mean, I did consider having that on screen at the same time, but that is probably a bit beyond my ob skills at the moment. Oh, I hope you're magnetic. Right, you can drop in there. One. Three. Whew, half an hour, man. Thought. Carefully tip the mid-frame over, away from the motherboard, as if you were turning the page of a book. Why are they obsessed with books? Okay, so that's going to take that with it as well. 
Yeah, okay. I think we're we're just about in that, I think. Step eight. The ZL came out very small, so this is the ZL button, so Oh, look at the dust on that there. Let's see if I can give that a bit of a this has got like a little Oh is it this side? Oh boy. That definitely came out. Step nine. Ribbon connecting the minus buttons where I come on the board runs over the back. Do I need to do this? Is that this one? Oh god, button came off. And a spring. That's not good. I'm sure we'll put us back on properly in a bit. Uh, gently. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. We're rocking this. Uh, just get the cable. Okay, so I need to unlock this lad, which is what's keeping the Joy-Con in. I mean, you need to be careful with these so they don't break, but this is the one that's, I mean, this is probably going to go in the bin. There we go. Right, I feel sick. Sick. And then remove the two screws holding that down, which is going to be this one. Well, let me just try and hold you back out of the way. Drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off, drop off. There we go. Oh, it's coming out. Uh, drop off. Right, there we go. All right, and then that then comes out. Oh. There's the offending. Dodgy one. It's full of dust and whatnot, I think, from what I've read. Uh, move that. Cool, step 12, we're done. So that's the end, so that's going to go over there out of the way. So we need one of the fresh lads. I choose you. Do I need to do anything with that? No, that looks okay. Is that? That fits, right. I think I need to do something. There's a sticker in here. Let me just try and fit that in now whilst we're there. Okay. Oh boy. It's a nervous spell in this house. Nervous spell in this house. I think it's like that edge. We can pick that up in that. I think that's where the stick is supposed to go. Really should have checked that, I suppose, before getting to this part, but hey. We are where we are, right? I've never taken a cap off of a Joy-Con. Oh! That came off. Surprisingly easy. Right, so the sticker. We're in. Sticker on. We'll leave the other grips off for now. Put this one back on. So you're in. Oh, I don't like putting those back on. There we go. Because they were like, I think these guys were £30 for the two. Which, you know, they're not expensive, but like I don't want to break them. Oh god, right that. See that? Be careful there, because I need to put that back in on top of there. Right, so that's in. So we need screws. That is an ideal. Sticker stuck in my hands. This is all going completely wrong. Look at that. Right, so I'll drop you down. Oh. Right, you're in there. Hold that back, hold that back. God. It's like teeny tiny flipping spectacle screws, right. Oh god, don't get caught up in there. Right. Now comes a tricky bit. Let's get this back in there. Oh. Don't feel like that's in there enough yet. It might have been in there. Well, which was like a big, nice green light saying, yeah, Phil, sorry, not on camera at all. And yep, that's it enough. Right, the fact that I can't put it out, I think must mean it's in there pretty good. Can I get it in there anymore? We're gonna call that 
as in. Whew, right, next. This lad jumped off out of nowhere. The spring, I guess, goes in there. And then that goes that way around. Yes, so let me see if you can hear that. It sounds like it's in right, so you're in. I need to reattach this fella into this one. Um, oh, that seemed to go in. Phew, right. Now this lad, right, let me go back up. So I've been going back up through the steps. So step 12, so I need to reapply, reattach to this lad. So where are we? If I put that like that, that's like that. The ZL button. I think those buttons are all okay. Button. That's right, I'm watching Doctor Who. And we're on to tenant with the youngest one, and he, the third he goes button. I've not been able to say button any differently than that for a uh, for a while. Right, so I think those, yeah, that's up in the air. So let me good lord. I know ribbons are easier because this would in the old days would probably mean like desoldering stuff. So small. Yeah, I prefer this because I can see the thing going in. So I think we're in again. Put that, that down. All right, so then this goes back over there because we're reattaching the battery compartment. I think that's all okay. All right, so let me get a screw. Did, why have why we done two again? Why did you do two again? Why is everything so small? Why is everything the size of a car? I'll make it much easier. I have got one, two, three. I really hope that cable's in because I really don't fancy undoing all this again. If I do, it'll certainly be off camera. Uh, right, so then you go in that way. I think right, that was the way. Yes, because then the battery connector is in there. It just goes in straight down, what is it? I much prefer that click. Let me just see. Yeah, we've got some lights, so the battery's reconnected. And then I close that up. Who's next thing I'll dock it at some point will be redoing these rails because they do feel a little bit not dodge, but could do be redone. Right, I think we're nearly there. Get these last these four screws back in. Actually no, shall we? This is wrong because I need to like close down properly to actually check it, but I just want to just connect it. That's good. It still doesn't look right just because I've not turned it off properly yet, but the stick is working. <laughs> and I forgot what I'm doing. I'm putting screws back in. I'm putting screws back in. Uh, oh. oh my God. I cannot believe that happened. Oh, were you? God, I'm actually getting a bit shaky. This is very stressful. I mean, I've got plans to do, like, there's, I need to do. This isn't going in. Why aren't you in properly? Oh, you are going in. Um, redo the screen on my, oh, my youngest uh, DS light. That involves weldering, weldering, soldering. But you're not going in, I'm kind of getting worried. Let's just get these other screws in first. Maybe that'll clip that one in. This is where the screen in the DS is connected to the cable. I 
Because I'm using the wrong head of the screw, aren't I? There we go. Oh, we put it double O. Put it double O. I'll put that back in so we know where it is. We'll tip it upwards so we know which one is in there as well. Right, so. Little pro tip for you. Use the right bloody screwdriver. That's working. It's a treat now. Yeah, the DS screen is like connected to the speaker cable, and you have to desolder the speaker cable from the board to get the speaker out. I guess these days it would be like one of those slidey in lads, like we just saw in this. The DS is older than that. Well, DS Lite was what, 2008? 2009? Um, so that might make it a bit trickier. Well, it does make it a bit trickier because I have to buy a soldering iron. So I'm building up to like sorting out my old spectrum. Done. All sensor sticks in. Number two. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, so I just stopped then, so I have to go get a drink because I was nervous as hell. So we're on to the next one. So, But we did the first one. This should be easy. The only problem we've got is with this stick, that Camelad might things different, but make me things different. But I think a lot of the process will be the same. So we've done it once. We can do it again. Right, so first step, get these things out with the right screw bit. That will, of course, help. Do, 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 do. Sorry, I saw see Elton John in concert last night, his last show in England ever, apparently, apart from Glastonbury. That's not really it's a festival, isn't it, rather than a solo concert. And he was very good. That Elton John, right? He can do good music. Um, so I needed this budger here. And after having his songs blasted at me, for so long, they kind of took in my head. Uh, oh, there we go. We even had a little bit of Taron Egerton, not on stage, but he was in like the video things. Oh, the fact it was really good. I did like Rocket Man. I thought that was a much superior film than Bohemian Rhapsody, and that should have got best actor as opposed to your Bond villain guy who isn't actually that good. Oh, there we go. Right, coming out like a book. Right, so you've got a module down there. I guess that's the camera module down there. That's the main difference. But I think this bit here is going to be the same. Although, yeah, we'll go. We'll go, right. Step three for the case. Step four, disconnect the battery. Yes, I need my spudger light again. Put that spudger away because you failed me. Uh, this spudger. Now, this was the horrible noise that I didn't like. So we'll see if it happens again. I think like here we go. I like you. You didn't do like a horrible click. Right, so that's that. And then what? Prying it out. Yeah, prying it out. So that's routine. Oh god, what am I stuck on? Okay, that's stuck around that. We're fine. Done with routine now. Uh, so that's done. Move the antenna. Okay. I haven't got an antenna. Oh, it's on the side. Okay. That was like on the side there, which I don't think was on the other one. That's fine. We got that out of the way. Got any screws in it, is it? Well, it has got a screw. Disconnect the antenna. So, do I need to disconnect it? Okay, maybe I do. So that's this lad here. Um, Spudger. Is it spudging? Yeah, spudging. Oh my gosh. That little cable there. Like a little finickety cable just there that I'm just trying to hold out of the way. Get that in there. And up and out. There we go. Right. That was like that. So I put it should hopefully remind me to never move three oh no dust right. so i'm gonna leave that there to remind me this time I'll put actually there next to those lads 
I know with that bit, I need to be using that instead. Right, one. Why can't I just be exactly the same? Why have you got to put a stupid camera in there that nobody uses? Two. Oh, three. Right. Do not attempt to remove the mid frame yet. It's fragile. Keyboard connect the ZR button underneath the motherboard. Okay. Carefully flip the mid frame up and over away from the motherboard. Oh, God. I guess that's the. Oh, that is a tiny one. Am I supposed to? Okay. This is going to be so fiddly to get back together again. Can you see that tiny? This tiny cable here. This is going to be so fiddly to put back in. A small zip connection on the motherboard. Use tweezers to push up the zip. Okay, the ZR button cable is short and can be tricky. If you're worried about not being able to reconnect it, you can skip this step and leave it connected. Yes, I would rather leave that connected. Thank you. It might be to make it a bit fiddlier to get to the screws, but I'd rather. Yeah, if I put it like that, I can still get to the screws in there because that's so small. I'm not gonna right, disconnect the Joy-Con, which is fine because we got the spudger lad, or the spudger lad, the flippy lad there. Yank that out. Good. The we're motoring, guys. We're motoring. Joy-Con screw. I didn't come out with the. There we go. That's better. We're not going to. There we go. Click on screw. Lift you out. Making sure that the cover stays in place. Yeah, it did. There's the right one. Now, this one wasn't wasn't as bad. The right stick's never gone off to be fixed. The left's the one that's always been off, but it was starting to go a little bit. Bad. <sighs> to be honest, it was the. The A button up here was the, always the one that was a little bit finicky, but that seems better. Right, so. Let's get this cap off. I hate it when electrical things make horrible noises like that. We've got the little sticker. Not the middle bit. And that just sits around that can't really go anywhere else fine so this whoop, needs to go in there so i'm going to try and reconnect the thing first before i drop it in i think that feels good the cable really is small uh, we're nearly there though. We are nearly there. And then that one in there. Should be in. I didn't put the cat back on. That's fine. We do that in a second. Oh god. That's the thing that kind of sits underneath dust cover thing. Right, we'll worry about that in a minute. That's not ideal, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Right, and then this. Uh, which way around does that go? That goes like, like that. So we've got one screw. We'll get this in, then we'll put the thing back on, I think. You going in? No, I'm missing the hole spectacularly there, Phil Wadden. That feels better. There we go. Woo! As Rick Flair would say. And I guess people do this for their, I guess their job, well, it must be people doing this for their jobs now, and Nintendo, all the, all the Joy-Cons that have broken left, right, and center. Because, yeah, the left one I went back three times. I don't think I paid for it. I don't think you do pay for it anymore. Oh, there we go. That is, let's do the cover back on. Oh, God. 
Oh, the things. There we go. Just get off. There we go. Right. There we go. Cat back on. Right. So next is this lad. So this was just basically straight down on top of that thing there. Can't see because it's so small. Why is everything got to be so small? That was a good positive noise. That was in. And you were like in there like that. Yes. Yes, that's where you were. Oh no, was it around the inside? It might be around the inside. That feels better. That feels a bit more comfortable. It's not stretching the cable. I'm just not going to break it when I close this back up. You just get back inside that. I feel like you were kind of sat deep. There we go. Yeah, so that kind of sits. It's like a little ridge. Just there for that sitting too. And then we have the battery. You go back in there. You go. Ah. That little cable there is so frustrating. Right, let me maybe you. Good clicking noise. Oh, and then this goes. Together, trying to get the rails in as well at the same time. That goes in. We take out this because this is the wrong one, which we learned last time. That one back in. Oh, it says 12 minutes on the recording. Oh, God. And it was um, it said half an hour. Maybe it did both of them in half an hour. Though this video won't be half an hour. I don't think you want to be seeing me messing with screws for quite that long. Jeezy Christ. Right, one. Drop in, drop in, drop in. Just good lad. There you go. Two, uh, three, four. Just make sure. Yep. Back is connected. We've got two working Joy Cons now. I don't think I need that anymore. That can go away. That can go away. Oh, right. So I've got these left over, which I guess replacement screws could use, but I didn't need them. I'll probably keep these, these things go away somewhere safe. So let's, uh, I think what I need to do is shut this thing down properly. Shut down, no, back, is it hold down, power button? Power options, power off. He's totally power off. Making a little cameo. Hi, hi guys. Like and subscribe. Um, yeah, he's totally power off. I think this clears the um, the thing around the controller. So let's turn that on. Let's go up a little bit. my awesome camera setup which is my iPhone on a podcast microphone arm. If you work in there, uh, why do I do that? I'm definitely working there. Okay, it's an update. Maybe that has something to do with it. No, yeah, both sides need an update. All right, they've been repaired. So let's see. No, it's so weird. But they seem fine there. Yeah, there's no drift. In there at all beforehand sometimes it wouldn't even go that way uh let me go back 
Yeah, I think it's going to be with the calibration thing there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But otherwise, this is a success. We've taken out these two lads. The old broken ones. Got a few new lads in. We've got some other thumb caps if we really wanted them. So that was a stressful, horrible thing to do. But I did it. And my switch is better. It's hair on it now. Brilliant. Go away. Go away. Now I can play some Fortnite and be better because I'll have the drifty issue going on. Or I'll just probably play some Castlevania because, you know, it's that kind of guy. Recommended. Just be prepared for the stress. Just realized this came with these stickers, so I can actually do that. Actually, no, let me, uh, fixed. Fixed. I'll leave that on there anyway, because I fixed it. <laughs> 